Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Thrift Haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk that we have purchased. We tell you what we paid for it and what we're gonna sell it for. You'll notice it's bright and shiny outside because we are pre-recording this because this is two days before Christmas. Yep, we so, are taking some time with the kids and doing some holiday stuff. So Merry Christmas, guys. We are gonna be on here, on because you can be on our phones commenting. Um, so if you see Jamie and Zeb commenting, that's us. And then Caitlin is on here under Jamie Ray Vintage, dropping links so you can shop along. Just go to jamierayvintage.com, click Saturday Thrift Haul, and everything is already preloaded and ready to buy there. All right, right off the bat, these are from the bins. Now, we usually tell you what we paid for things. The bins, they weigh it, and then they're like, that's $40. So everything weighed together was 40 bucks that we got from the bins. So I don't know exactly how much we paid for these. I'm gonna guess less than a buck. Uh, but there's 11 tins here, three different shapes, and these are 19.95. Those are really fun to like make ornaments out of. People use them for baking. Um, they're just super cute. So I pick them up anytime I can find them. Next up, we have a couple clocks. So I think, what, would you have two? Three, three. So three these clocks. two are gonna be painted, so why don't you show them those? And then this one is not gonna be painted. This one doesn't have a price tag on it. So did we thrift this? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. I think it was a couple bucks, it's and we're, a, oh. we're selling it for $22.95, and I like the black finish, so we're gonna leave it as is. Lately, I've been paying like three, four dollars for clocks like this. This one was three dollars, this one was two dollars. Um, someone's already painted this, doesn't have a back, which I'm fine with. It's gonna sit up against the wall, like it's not a big deal. Uh, but we'll probably paint the whole back and everything when we paint it. Uh, this is gonna be $22.95. This one is gonna be $29.95, significantly well, larger. If you're sitting that like on a console table, you would be able to, you, sometimes you can see the back of them. So I just like to paint them mm -hmm. neatly to all match. That's just weird that it's like green and then Red. It's very Christmassy. This one's okay, I feel like, because it's um, natural wood, so I'll probably just paint just the edge on this one. I don't know, I might paint the whole back too. So you get a handle with this one though. This one's gonna be $29.95. Yep. That one's really cute. I like all the detail on it. Yeah, it's very ornate. Next up, we have this terracotta planter. Um, I think Zeb's gonna do dark wax to kind of cover up where the terracotta's chipped through. Here, let me and try it right now. Keep showing it. It was $4, and wax. Zeb's gonna sell it for $22.95. All right, I'll put that over there. Well, Zeb's working on that. We used to have two of these and one of them broke. I don't know how it broke, but. Um, the base was broken in the, when we. I think some, like maybe we set the bin down too hard because it was wrapped and the base just broke. So this one is $3.99 and we're gonna sell it for $39.95. This is actually my favorite of the two that we bought because I love it's like a double finial. So it's like curvy in, curvy in, and then up. Really pretty, we love apothecary. We will clean this up, in fact, probably after we're done with this live video, I will get out the Dawn and dish soap and clean that up. A lot of times when you thrift things, just need a new, fresh clean. So I've got dark wax, really quick. We're gonna take a little segue into the, uh, the fixing of things, but this probably ended up at the thrift store because this got this little chip here. Um, it was $4, there's a little chip there. But when you're out, when you're out thrifting, if you're finding your own stuff, don't 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 pass on this kind of stuff. Cause look, I'm gonna wipe that back in a second. But all this, all these little terracotta chips, we're gonna get back to that cement look. Look at that. Ta -da! It's pretty much gone. I'll wipe that off in an, in about two minutes, and then like we'll be a good boss. To go. You're the junk boss. All right, next up. Cute little bird. When I found this in the thrift store, it had some really yucky, ugly potpourri in it that smelled it good. questionable. Um, so the bottom does pop out. You can refill it with whatever you want. I kind of just love it as is. Um, and I paid $2 for it. Originally it was $29.95 when it was full of the fresh potpourri. <laughs> I would have never paid 30 bucks for it. We're selling for $16.95 empty like this and then you could just pop this off if you want to put something in it, but I like it as I is. honestly would just leave it empty. I think it's the good wire frame. It's fun. It's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's almost got like an industrial vibe meets French country. All right, we're gonna put that in there. Next up, we've got this um, Japan, it's Pompeii, it's Relpo Pompeii. It's um, stamped on the bottom and it's got like the original sticker on here. It was $5.99. It does have a chip like in the bottom, um, but in otherwise pretty good condition. A couple little flea bites, but nothing crazy. And it's gonna be $22.95. And it's got these cute little like cherubs on it. 
And it's just pretty. I like this. It's like aviary and cream almost is what it looks like to me. Fixed. Done. Ready to go. And it's going to be beautiful in your home. Whoever buys it. All right. Next up, let's do these quilts. Okay. Um, we, we have one more quilt that's in the dryer that we'll show at the end because I wash everything that comes from the bins gets a good scrub. Any textiles get washed. So this is... That actually didn't come from the bins. That came from, from DI. This is from the Deseret Industries, the DI. And I just, I, I, it's like a skeleton key blue. It's, it's not like a baby blue, which is probably why I got it. But decent size, perfect for a small, small kid or, you know, just, just a, a throw on your couch. Um, I believe it was $3 and it's going to be $29.95. Next up, we have another afghan. This one is a little bit like, I don't want to call it like fuzzy, but this one has been around. But this one is cool. This is granny squares with flowers on it. Somebody worked really Honestly, hard on this. like, I need something like this when I get buried. Why? Can you see that? Can you? Your dad got a Mexican blanket. I need something like this. We just put it in there with him. You want me to just put an afghan on you? Yeah, just lay it over me. So but I'm going to already be dead, so it won't matter. Well, make sure the kids know. Because I go first. We have an agreement. No, oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I like to argue against that agreement. This is going to be $49.95. <laughs> this one came from the bins. If, if, if it's looking like it's going to start getting sketch and, and it might be close, so you're going to see me doing some crazy things, you know? Stop. All right, so these are, here you want to hold the other side. I washed yep. it with OxyClean. One of them had a stain, which I took a picture of. I might. It might be uh, gone. Yeah, but the weird thing is, is like this one has got cream in it. I wonder if this is tatting and not crocheted because this is a different color. Uh, yeah, it's not dirty. Different it's just a different. Or a different thread or whatever. Yeah. Tell me if you guys think this is tatting. I'm this, sure you can see it on camera right actually, here. There's like a block of it. Yeah, this is, show them really close. Like this is very finely detailed. This actually might not be crochet. It might be tatted. And if that's the case, that's amazing. This one is crochet, but that's like a very fine detail. Either way, it's a gorgeous rectangle lace tablecloth and it's $69.95. Either crocheted or tatting. This one I think is crocheted. I think this is the one that maybe had a spot. That one I don't see it. That one looks clean. I used OxyClean. And this one's looking really good too. So, oh, here, let me hold this one. I didn't even realize they were different. <laughs> yeah, so this one is oval. And this would fit like a standard size oval table. $69.95 for both of these. And they've been washed and dried and oxy cleaned. And they're so in much pretty work good that shape. goes into these. Yeah, so I probably will delete the picture that has the stain on it because it went away. All right, there you go. I'm not, usually, when I find these, they're like ripped, super stained. So I'm glad to find in good condition. All right, we have one more quilt we'll show at the end. That one isn't handmade. These are all handmade. All right, so pair of candlesticks. These, are we painting these? Um, yes, and they'll be $29.95. They're very ornate, gonna be amazing painted. The dark color kind of, some of the detail gets lost in the darkness of them, but we'll go ahead and paint them up, do a distress, it'll contrast nicely. They're gonna Did be they 20. add that? Like that does, look, look at the it's, top on that. Yeah, it looks like someone, oh no, it was underneath. It, they've got tin underneath and someone painted over it. Oh. But that could have probably had to paint over it originally, so we'll just keep painting over it. We're gonna fix that. That'll be yeah, $29.95. They were $2 each, they're gonna be $29.95 painted up. So we're missing, oh, there's a third candlestick. So yeah. this is, so well, this one is a set that we're making ourselves. We're gonna make a marriage. We're gonna paint them all exactly the same and take three mix match candlesticks and turn them into a really fun eclectic set. I like to do this because it's really interesting looking and together, I mean, they're kind of a hot mess, right? Like sometimes eclectic is just messy. Like if you just did the three of these, they do not go together. Not at all. <laughs> but if I paint them the exact same finish, they'll be mix match, but also the same and just be a little bit more cohesive. So this was $2.99 at Goodwill. This one was $2 from the DI. $3 on this one. And $3 uh, from the DI. With so, well, a new paint finish, they're gonna be $42.95. And I think these actually all came from, this. these might have been from the th same thrift store, but we were finding stuff all over the place, just We random. had to work really hard this week for thrifting. <laughs> Um, as the new year approaches, it will be a lot easier as people are cleaning and organizing and all that kind of good all right, stuff. I'm going to come close so, that, so the camera might zoom in and out for a second. I just want to show you some of these books up close. 
Um, just fun books. This is a universal dictionary. Hold on just a second. These are all from the bins. Yes. So we do not have like a price. I would say we paid a, a buck to maybe two bucks max per book. All right. So this is from 1936. It's leather bound universal graphic dictionary, self pronouncing. I don't know what that means because it doesn't pronounce anything to me when I'm looking. <laughs> That's because you have to pronounce it yourself. There are no <laughs> Siri or Alexa prompts. Um, but just, I like, I like that it's indexed and I also like the, uh, the font in here. It's really good. Um, gonna be 1995 and then the gold on the, the top here. Oh, there we go, focus. Uh, so that one's 1995 from 1936. This one here is 1295. So whoever gets this one's getting a fun book. I'm actually going to swipe. Um, is that the one for the boiler? That one is falling apart. I took yes, lots of it pictures. It does like the, the backing is coming off, but I think you could glue it and it would be fine. Um, this is just maxims and instructions on like how to run a steam boiler. Uh, but I like the art even in there. Still a thing? Like the people still mm, back have east, they have boilers, yeah. Uh, 1295 on that one. This is also an old book from the early 1900s. Sometimes I just get them because they're old. I like like old things. They're really cool um, on display. I was trying to find the copyright on this. That one's 1903 or something. Yeah. It says in the listing. 1903. Originally 19, 1897, um, but 1903 was the last print. Okay, next up we have a... This, is this one twelve ninety five too? I think we have a, a few that are twelve ninety five. I don't know that you gave me. Maybe you did. The yeah, complete, these two are twelve ninety five. So the com, I got this one just because I liked the way it looked for sitting on your coffee table, like a coffee table book. Uh, the complete short stories of W. Somerset Maugham. Yeah, and I like the the way the black is kind of scalloped. So it's got a bunch of different short stories in here. I don't think this one has any pictures. Um, where's my copyright? So last copyright on this is 1934. That's actually in pretty good shape. All right, so yeah, this one really I think is like from the 50s. Um, this is like a textbook, I think. Yeah, American Writers, and this, this has a lot of art in it. First off, this is the whole reason why I bought this book. An eagle on the front, you know, green, good green color. You open it up and it's got like the continental US here. Um, but yeah, so it looks like there's notes. When it's spring by Will Dalton, someone wrote a poem. We're gonna leave that in there. Um, he didn't turn his homework in. Doesn't, or, or, <laughs> it's it's actually got a name, 190 something, Dan on the yeah, first page. Yeah, 1939 on this. What's on, oh, maybe that's just his address. Yeah, that looks like an address. So maybe we should mail it back to him. <laughs> you think he's still there? Might okay, not this either. one is 1495, I'm kind of going in order. Okay, 1495 on this one, The Arts, Hendrix, Willem. Um, I just like this one because it was red as well. Does it have art in it? This is from the bin, so we don't know how much each one weighed. Um, so this has the copyrights on all the, the stories and art and things in here. Uh, the last one listed is 1937. And same with this. This is when this was compiled. So we got like pre-World War II books. Okay, this one's in German. Yep, this and is... And this one has art in it and the art has vellum. Yeah, so like protecting the art. Well, because they used to bleed. So really vibrant. I have good no idea print. what it actually means. I think it's about Jesus. Yeah, this is this is a religious book. I can't read it. It's well like Jesu Christi. Um, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. But but this one here, the thing I love the most about this is someone wrote in here 1914. It might be like a little testimony or a, hey, enjoy this book sort of thing, but that, that itself and then the embossing on the front of this. That's really pretty. I don't pretty. know if you can see the detail. There it is. But super great book. If you can tell, I like to read. I like the art. I like all, all the old books. I thought you would love this book. This book is leather embossed and about American sports, the history. Yeah, I do love this book. I That's like perfect for a man I cave. have played baseball since I was five, t-ball. Um, and it's just, you know, it's part, of, part, of my, part of my history. Um, and again, it, it kind of it starts back in the 1600s, I believe. 
pictorial history of American sports. It's not terribly old, the book is That isn't. was from the 50s. Yeah, 1952. That's the year my dad was born. So, I mean, it's getting older. He's, it's getting older because you're gonna be, a spring chicken. He's going to be 72 soon. This is like the ultimate prepper guide. Oh, this book here is like invaluable. The People's Home Library. I almost kept this myself. This is like all the the medical cooking veterinary book like it's nursing it's it's got look how thick it is and it's just got like all, all things you need to know i always the think these are interesting because um typically the topics that they the way that they cover them are a little dated so sometimes they'll cover like raising teenagers or things like that and you it's good reading <laughs> So this one is also really old. Yeah, that one is actually from the early 1900s. Yeah. I think it's like nine, I can't, I can't remember on that one. So 1920. But anyway, some great books this week. All of these are from the bins. This is the kind of stuff, this is the reason we're going to the bins continually because we're finding these old quilts. Um, handmade stuff and knocking things over and these old books. I don't find old books like this at the regular thrift store. No, and they I get do, it's under over glass. and they like mark them way up. So let's show some more stuff from the bins. Um, Zeb found this leather apron. It looks like new old stock, like it's not used. Um, this has 100% leather. Yeah, it's brand new. Um, it's $49.95 for this apron. I saw them about $100 for aprons this size, so I thought $49.95 was a really good price. Here, I'll try it on and Oh, well, it. it's going to be worth a lot more once you try it no, on. I doubt it. You're cute. But it's adjustable. Oh, I'm probably messing with the mic there. Adjustable strap right here. It's got like a brass buckle and then ties. You can tie it in the back, or if you're thin, or than me, you can, you know, strap it around. I, I don't think there's a lot of people that can, maybe but a kid. But I do like, it's got two pockets, two pockets, so four pockets total. Super handy if you're doing, like, like I would wear this, uh, welding or no, not welding. Um, probably like, like if I was like a jewelry smith, or something What's along that those. What's that you like to do with, that you, well, you would like to do with knives? Oh. Blacksmith? Blacksmithing? That, they, do they wear leather aprons? Yeah. I don't know. I I don't know that world. But All right. anyway, this is basically brand new. This is a Amish double pie basket. Wouldn't have known except for the Google. Um, and it has this, I was like, what is this for? Do you hang your hats on it? So you put a pie in here. You put this in over the pie and then you can put another pie on top without squishing it. Hence the name double pie basket. I don't think you can skip with that with pies in there. You'd no. make a mess. But $49.95, it's in really good condition. It looks like it's got copper. Is that, that looks to be yeah, copper. Yeah, it's copper. So copper, um, I don't know what you would call that. Let me that. look if they're rivets. Fast. Rivets, that's what it's called? Yep, they, well, they, it's like an old fashioned style of a rivet. They've hammered the ends so that they're mushroomed out so that they don't come past the washer. Perfect picnic basket, because what's better than one pie? So it probably Two actually pies. was made in Amish country. Like yeah. it's either that or it's an amazing replica. I call it an Amish style because I don't know. I bought it at the thrift store. Yeah, there's I, nothing to indicate that it was made anywhere. I think it was like $4. Actually, Emmanuel Swartz and family, 2017. Oh, that's Amish. There you go. So, looks like they made this. <laughs> handmade. Awesome basket. Gonna, I only got it because my friend, uh, I can never say her name right. Dacia, Dasha. I think it's Dacia. Dacia. She's, she, I know she watches our channel and she's going to see this and she'll be like, Jamie, you've known me for all these years. Why can't you say my name? Because I am, I don't know. But anyway, she had it and she put it back. She's like, go get that basket that I put back. She knew I would like it. So. Thanks for that one. Especially this week, because we needed all it's the things. because you read her name on Facebook, and when you read things, it messes with how you say things. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's Dacia. She's so cute, I love her. She actually has a really good eye, so I was glad she put that back, because I liked it. All right, next up, we picked this up at Goodwill. It was $3.99, it's a big heart-shaped pan. It is sprayed on copper, but it does have the riveted brass handle, so you can hang it on your wall. Um, I actually think it'd be so cute to paint this to look like a cake. Um, it was $3.99 and we're selling it for $19.95. If you get it and actually make a cake out of that, I want to see how well the detail pops out of it. Oh, that. I bet it does good. 
things up. Yep. So Zeb thought these were jello molds because in England, they look that's like what, they exactly what they look like. We have some that I did not list for sale in my cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> the very best things that are my most favorite, I don't sell. They go in the cabinet. They go in the cabinet. So that way my kids have something to fight over. Um, these, I guess, were planters from florist is from what people told me. Um, they're stoneware, a couple of chinks in them, but in otherwise like good condition. I thought this one actually had a crack, but that's not a crack. That's like no. in the glaze. In the glaze. Um, Hager is the brand made in USA and they're $12.95 each. I think, I honestly thought they would be worth more, but that's about the going price for them. I think they're really pretty. I like this they one. They look just like the jello molds we're bringing back from the UK. Yeah, this one is fluted and this one is more like mid-century modern. So USA pottery, I always pick up USA Pottery when I find it. All right, so I've, I've been trying to be more selective about my frames. I buy the, if they're wood or if they're very ornate, I buy them. Um, this one is wood with a gold finish on it. And it was $1.99 at the Goodwill, which is also a good price. And it's also got the art. A ship, is, and people like ships, because uh, last week we sold our ship plate. Somebody said yeah. you should do a video on what sells. If I did a video on what sells, it would be most everything. Yeah, we usually don't buy it if it's not gonna sell. It sell all of it sells eventually, but the ship sold last week. There so are we, some things that sell slower, but I just, I really like this. I don't need to do anything to it. Um, sometimes the corners will be all beat up on these and we'll put some more gold on there, but this one's fine. Well, that one I just, I love the double, it's almost like double molding on the frame, like it's chunky. It's $19.95 for that one. Okay, so next up we have, this is just a plain, probably originally from like Hobby Lobby Hook. The color's pretty putrid. So we're going to paint this. It was $1.50. We'll leave this white, in fact, you can, I think you could just screw this off. So we'll screw this knob part off. I'll repaint everything that's green and then it's gonna be $12.95. So with this, I was definitely just looking at like the shape and I love this knob part, hated the color. Anything with a porcelain knob on there, Jamie's probably gonna get it. She loves the white porcelain knobs. Porcelain and brass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sign me up for that. So I, I picked up these mirrors. I guess Jamie said she saw them and she passed on it. They were $2 each. This is actual wood molding. It's now, a really bad spray paint job. It is a very bad spray paint job, but it's got these fun beveled mirrors. We got two of them. Are we selling them together or individually? Individually. They're $22.95 each. We paid $2 each. I thought originally maybe we'd fill this in, but you can't really fill it in because it doesn't line up perfectly. So we're well, just so what I might do is do some caulking and then just wipe it out of the high spot. So make it a little bit better. Yeah, because this this is hurting my eyes as <laughs> as a I'm not even like somebody a, like custom not, did this because I'm it, not like, like a fantastic finish carpenter they wrote right on like on the back like somebody custom framed these. but that's that's hurting me so i'm going to like physically physically harming me i gotta fill those if, <laughs> how do you live in this house when that physically harms you look over there look over there at that it needs to be fixed i can't see that far away so i'm fine i'm just trying to convince them to do some trim work i did most of the mill work in this entire house and it's pretty bad I am not a carpenter. What I was was a handy helper. Okay, next up, Bromwell's measuring sifter. sifter. $2 is actually old. It's got the wooden handle, not the plastic. That kind of gives you an idea of the age and it was $14.95 and it's a five cup sifter. Um, and then next up, I thought I picked up four of these plates, but somehow I only got back with three. You only And I thought three. this one's a scratch, but this is actually just dirty. This they need washed. to go through the dishwasher. Um, and they were $1.50 each, and we're selling for $9.95 each. This color, cobalt blue, I pick it up anytime I find it, and it sells super fast. Someday I think I'm going to do a display, but it never sticks around long enough to do a display of it. So. All right, we almost didn't bring this home from the bins, but it's... Uh, well, I didn't know what it was, and it's because Zeb and I don't drink, so I had no idea. But um, it's for corks, like wine corks. So it goes on the end of a table or something here, and then you pop your... Uh, and, and it's... Oh, it threads. Like yeah, a, it's like a commercial application, because... Like, like a, if you had a restaurant... If you have, it's for fast removal of corks. Or if you just have like a, a bar in your garage or your basement or something, I don't know. It's, it's, it's got the brand Rapid on there. Seb says the vinegar bottles also have corks. Cause I was like, I don't know if we can sell this. We don't drink any. I don't know, vinegar, said, oil, there's some various things. You might need it for your oil. Sure. Um, there's somewhere, oh here it is. It's uh, Swiss made. 
So. Yep, and that's from the bins. It might be. I we thought probably it was, paid the most for that because it's super heavy. I thought it was brass, but it might be like silver. Uh, yeah, because it looks like the brass is wearing off of the silver. Yeah. It's really cool. The brand is Rapid. So brass plated. I just want to like watch the mechanism go. It works. It's functioning. Zeb's tested it out about yep. 12 times since, since we started showing it. Okay, this is oh, exciting, we, we, guys. It's going to be $69.95. <laughs> this is the first piece of silver I've ever found. Sterling 925. It's from Mexico. Um, and it is a buckle. It's kind of got like the Aztec um, sun and like all the detail work. And then it comes complete with a Tony Llama bonded leather. Uh, well, it's bonded leather backing. I think the front is just regular leather, but leather, but the back is bonded. So it does have, if you're buying it for the belt, it does have like a slight little tear in this yeah. hole. I didn't but charge that, extra for the belt. The, yeah, you're buying the buckles. The buckle was worth about a hundred bucks. So I'm selling for $99.95, but I'm going to throw in the belt because. I so if the belt's it. on, you can't see the little tear. If that's the hole you need it to be. It's in. really cool. And I'm super excited to find my very, like I find a ton of silver plate, but like sterling silver is just not a thing for me. Yeah. So that was from the bins. So Let me show you close. We're going to continue cool. to go to the bins if we can find these little gems that, that we continue to keep finding. It's funny because you get there and you're like, oh, there's nothing. But then you start digging and you find stuff. And my like rule of thumb is I'm not really a digger because I'm not going to stick my hands deep down into where I don't know what it is. So I just go behind somebody and I just see what they pull out and then I pick from the top. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get gloves on and dig in the bottom, but for now that's how I do it. Because you know, I've dug the kids really are not buying clothes. They're only buying clothes. So I'm in there, they're throwing stuff that's not clothes and I'm just picking it up behind them. I've, I've done a lot of digging there and you know, one time there was something damp. Yeah, that's the only time I was like, oh, I should add gloves. But for the most part, it's fine. And I honestly don't find better things when I dig. Like, there's nothing under there that's better than what's on top. And if you think that the thrift store is that much cleaner than the bins. They just stack it on the shelf neat for you versus <sighs> digging. It's really no different. It's, a, it's part of the job. All right, next up, $14.95 Home Body Book. It is a little like the... Cover. Looks like it got like some humidity. But the inside is in a really good condition. I happen to own this book. It's a Joanna Gaines book. Anytime I can pick up, pick up good coffee table books for a good price, I will because then I can sell this one for $14.95 because in my store, a coffee table book this size would probably be like 40 or 50 bucks. It might even have the price on it. Like, like the original one? Yeah. I think that see, hers are like $39.95. They might be in the jack. Oh, look at that. There's a little thing on the back so that you can like no, lay there's your- there's worksheets. There's worksheets so you can lay your stuff out. Did, then that's her handwriting. Yes. She shows you how to do it. It's homework. It's like a workbook for how to decorate your home. Eliminate declutter counters, remove upper cabinets to left of sink. Oh. That's how she organizes. That's how Joanna does things. Existing additions. Okay. All right. So they added what they're going to add. Anyways, the That's... book's really fun. If you have never read this book, it's a really good one. All right. Okay. Next up, we just have this little stack here and a couple. You want to show the big things over there? Yeah. So this is going to be... This, this lamp is really great. It's got, what's that Italian style? Cap, capo de Monte. That's what it looks style. like to me. And the, fl the flowers are in good shape. I don't see really any breaks on them. No, usually they're broken by now. And I like the coloring. I mean, and you know what's a, unique about this? There's a tiny little one right here, but it's fine. The, you know what's unique about this? Hmm. Is that the floral, you actually would put this lamp at a diagonal. Because the floral is off center. I don't know if you can like, this is separate. It's all one piece, right? So it's made to go like that. No, it is not. And it's not straight. Oh, can you fix that? Maybe. I thought it was made to go to diagonal. Oh, go. Oh. We're not going to fuss with it. We're it gonna, comes we're like We're going to let you decide how you want to do it. If you want to pull it apart, feel free, but I'm not going to break it right here on camera for you. $10 and it's $124.95 for this beautiful vintage lamp. Every time I buy a lamp, I think I'm the crazy lamp lady. And you know, it's funny. I don't really see her buy lamps. Maybe that's how she got started. I've never seen her buy lamps. <laughs> I mean, I don't really watch her that often because I'm too busy doing my own stuff, but I, I would assume that's how she got started. That's where the name came from. Okay, um, $7 we paid for this giant uh, urn. It's way better and cooler than the urns that I have out front. A couple people were concerned that this is an actual crack. This is part of the mold. This is fiberglass and it's not cracked here, but 
We do have to do some repairs and I will probably do them with Bondo. Which is made for fiberglass it's repair. It's tipped over a time or two and it's got some chips in the fiber class. But the Bondo will work really great on that. It's gonna look, it's gonna look fine. Um, and when we paint this, you won't even know it happened. So we're gonna let Zeb do a drippy, chippy paint finish. And when we do, it's gonna be $249.95. It's a big mama jamma. Yeah, it'll be good. It's, it's, it's a good piece. Uh, like a plaster one like this, you'd probably be like 300, 400 bucks. It's gonna take as long to ship it as it will probably to paint it, because that thing's big. Yeah. All right, next up, Zeb's actually gonna do this on the end of the video, because what is the rule now when you buy frames? It's not a rule. I can't agree to that. Deb has to make them over because we have probably 50 frames between the barn and the garage. I have been doing pretty good though. If I buy a frame, I've been getting art right in it. And it's the same thing. Sometimes when I buy furniture, I paint it right away because I have so much furniture that needs to be painted in the barn. And so I'm like, okay, if I buy it, I got to finish it. Um, this was, I don't know, a couple of bucks. I can't even remember. Remember. Um, yeah, it was two dollars. We're gonna repaint the frame, put new art in it. We'll probably take the glass out and just do like canvas or we, whatever. Yeah, we've been taking glass out of things just because it looks it's better. so hard to take a picture of it. And honestly, like hanging in your house, if it's actual art on canvas, it doesn't have any glass over it. So. It looks better without it. So it'll be $29.95, oh, it was two bucks. And once we put canvas and paint the frame, it'll be $29.95. And we love thrifting frames. We could buy frames, paint them, put new art in them, but we would never get one for $2. Also, like, true love stories never end. This love story and this frame is ending as soon as we're done with it. <laughs> this out. is just a little silver, uh, silver candy dish. It is... Is it W.M. Rogers? Yes. And it's a oh, flare? Actually, it's before that. It's just Rogers Brothers. Oh, Rogers Brothers, and it's a flare candy yeah. dish. It was a dollar. We're selling for $5.95. It's got the really good tarnish on there, but you could polish this up and get it real silver. Yeah, the, the finish is pretty decent. It's pretty heavy gauge. All right, we got a little bunny, little cute chocolate Somebody bunny. Somebody hand painted it. It's like one of one of those porcelain things, and it looks exactly like chocolate. I wonder. It's hollow, so I wonder if that's intended to have anything in there. You could put floral like, in there. Like like uh, some some fake greenery. Yeah, because you could put the greenery and then have the stems below. And it was nine. It's nine ninety five, and I think I paid like seventy five cents or a dollar for it. So these are fun. They're not. They're not fit, rare or, or uh, hard to find because I, I think you can still get them. But we found them at the thrift store, so we're gonna sell them for, uh, what is it, $4.95? Do you caught me yawning. Caught you yawning, $4.95. It's afternoon, I need a nap. Uh, it's just a bear hook that says welcome. I got two of them at the DI. Look how cute they are. Good job. Okay, next up, we're going to, I have sold these individually before, but I thought it'd be fun to do a trio. So they were $1.50 each, and we're going to paint them to match, and then they're going to be um, $32.95 for the set of three. All right, next up, we have Zeb's urn, and then we just got some silver. So I would totally just plant in this the same as that other terracotta one. I think it's the same deal, terracotta, and then they made it look like it's cement or plaster. This was $4. I thought Jamie wasn't gonna like these hooks. I didn't think that she was gonna be into them because she usually just wants to rip them off everything. But these got her stamp of approval because they're chunky. I don't like the thin ones. They look cheap and Hobby Lobby-ish. These look like when, like they could have been original, like if it was old, like very these French are, country. These are hand forged in a, in a yeah. blacksmith. In an old world country situation. In a forge. Yeah, it's Buy cute. a blacksmith, that's what All I All right, meant. how much did you tell them how much it was? Uh, we paid $4 for it, it's gonna be $24.95. I'm leaving it this color, it's good, I'm not gonna mess with it. All right, next up we have these little boppy glasses. I thought they were candle wick, but I was schooled, they're boppy. And they were $1.99, we're selling for $6.95 each. Got them at the Goodwill. They look just like all the Candlewick stuff. They do. Oh, I don't really know there's that much of a difference. But I want to call things what they are. All right, this is FBR. Silver on copper is like a little kettle teapot situation. And the lid is missing, so it's perfect for floral. It is $19.95 for this one, and it came from the bins. And then same with these. This is silver on copper, same brand. So Made in Taunton, the, Massachusetts. Yep, this is the sugar and creamer dish with lid. Again, I was following behind somebody at the thrift store, and they were, like, chucking this out of the this bag. Was, yeah, this was at the up. bins, and yep, at they're the bins. just like, I guess I don't want these. Yep, and I, these are $19.95. this is the kind of stuff you find if you get the right when they open. 
Maybe, I don't know. But Maybe I that's why we're not finding good stuff. We've always been late to the bins. We're finding good stuff, just not tonnage. And we also don't have the patience to stay there all day. But maybe we could get a cart. You know, if you bring me a lawn chair, like a zero gravity lawn chair, you can dig through the bins all day. No, I don't think I have the patience for that. I usually find what I want in about five minutes and I'm like, okay, I gotta go. We're gonna turn this camera off and we're gonna get set up and paint that frame and put some art in it. We are back. The magic of TV, Zeb printed out a gorgeous pastoral print um, on canvas and I'm gonna work on the frame. I think I'm gonna do like a crockery dry brush because I still want it to be pretty dark in contrast to what Zeb printed. But the frame needs a little freshening up. It needs, it needs some zhuzhing. Well, it's, got a, it's, it's a wood frame, but it's got like plaster or something over the top that has some chips and dings in it. And so a little paint is gonna just help that be less age worn. And they're not, sometimes like when we get gold frames, um, I really, and they're like old kind of style plaster. I'm like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that, that's fine. But this isn't a good chip. It's like over in the corner here, it's not good. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, Jamie's gonna patiently wait as we deconstruct this frame. I'm always patient. Always. But I really could use an afternoon snack, so. <laughs> you, you had time. I need a snack and a nap. So, here, well, why don't you go show them this close up? This okay. is gonna take me a second. It's fine. I didn't realize how long you were gonna be. I didn't think I had time, but then I did. So this is the image that's going in here. Oops. Get that focus there. With some sheep really pretty and it's kind of a creamy like crockery color so I'm thinking that that crockery dry brush on the frame is going to pair well but then have enough dark for contrast if it makes it too light I might dark wax over the dry brush we'll see all, all right. right the glass is out finally I have one little sharp thing that if I leave it here Jamie will for sure find it with her fingers and cut herself on this little metal nail. Maybe you'll find it with your little fingers. Even if I do, it usually doesn't cut me. You always get gut. I got delicate hands. Okay. So I'm just gonna dry brush this. What is that? I'm just gonna go get a spatula and peel that off. What? <laughs> it's like it said something else underneath it? Well, it's glued on bone. Mm, that's interesting. The spatula is working. All the kitchen utensils and tools, don't discount them. So I like to work at home because I got a lot of options. I mean, I, I could have gone and got my scraper out of the garage, but. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hard to dry brush this because it's kind of shiny. Oh, it's looking fine though. I needed a heavy dry brush and maybe you can like do a little wet distress over it. I don't think I need to, I'm getting there. Things are going okay. Things are going well. It's just like scraping the crusties off the bottom of a cast iron pan. I love the analogy there. Yeah, we'll, we'll wash this, don't sweat it. People aren't gonna wanna come over and eat at our house. They're like, did you use that on a thrift flip? Maybe. It's funny that this says love story. It may, like, why is it printed there and there? Yeah, they had it twice, but they, they like raised it up. All right. This is just gonna get discarded. I'm not keeping any of that whole mess right there. Okay, this needs a little bit more paint on this end because that's where it was chipped. But it's Where'd fine. Oh, it's way over here. Way over there? Yep. Because you had to work so you had to walk so far. So far. All right, is that gonna be dry enough for me to pop this in there and show them? Oh yeah. I think that crocker is gonna pair really well. This is kind of like a creamy tan color print. What's the point? Did you know I had a big nick in it here? 
Um, I saw it just a minute ago. Sorry. It adds to the charm. Okay, the question is, do we go high or do we go low? I think I'm gonna get rid of the tree and leave the sheep. Okay. I'm gonna cut this. So this is printed out on a canvas that is not necessarily designed to be printed on. It's like a canvas book. Oh, really? Yeah, but that's all I could find when I was initially doing like tests and things. I do have canvas rolls now, but that's what I used and it worked pretty good. Let's see if I can just cut it with these. Oh, it's gonna cut it. This has a built-in sealer, so when it's dry, it won't need anything else. Yeah, no, I think that looks good. I might add a little bit more dry brushing in a few spots. But so handy. Look at that, it's just cutting it. We sell that. It is the Open It. Yeah, the Open It by, Z by Zebra. Other, or Z Zebra, because that's what I call it. Zebra, Zebra. Zebra, Zebra. Okay, and there's a few spots that I just want to add a little bit more dry brush to. All right, well, let's bring this up close and let the people decide. Do you like it? Did you like it better before? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? All right, here you go. It's kind of blurry, but it just gives it kind of an aged effect. And it kind of covers up. There's a few chips and chinks in the finish. This is definitely one of those prints that like six feet roll. Looks amazing. It looks fine from up close to you. Yeah, there you go. Plop that in, make sure everything's tight. I didn't do white because white would have been too stark and it would have totally clashed with that. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Move. Let us know if you like the art before the love story that never ends or if you like our art. We will also have to move the hanging hardware because it was made to go vertical. Yeah, I'll pull it out. It's just two screws. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. We'll see you on the next.